I'm still your little girl. Oh. Love you. I love you. Oh. God, I can't believe. Oh, man. You got me. Oh, my God. Fast forward thinking. Would you rewind in Austin, I have learned so much over this last decade with you. Like how to cook, barely. How to change the oil in my car. I also learned that I can't always get what I want, but you will always provide me with what I need. The thing I need the most of all is you. I know what it's like living without you by my side, and I don't want to live that way ever again. From the first time I was lucky enough to cross paths with you, I was always telling myself, one day, I'll marry that girl. <laughs> After years and years of making you wait, here we are. I can probably say it's finally time to marry the woman of my dreams. I will always rem I will always remember the day your grandma Mary Poole asked me, "What do you love about my grandson?" At the time, I couldn't say exactly what I loved about you because there was just no one reason. There's a million reasons why I love you, but I'll keep it short for the sake of time. I love you for the way that you put everyone in front of yourself, the way you make sure everyone is okay even when you're not. I love that when you go get a midnight stack, you bring me something back saying, I figured you'd want this. Most of all, I love you. I love that you love me so unconditionally. I promise I will love you more tomorrow than I do today. I promise not only to be your best friend, but also your biggest cheerleader in life. I promise to make my life forever yours and build my dreams around you. I promise to always take a back road instead of the highway, even if it takes us longer and we're running late. I promise to tell you I love you and kiss you each and every night and never go to bed mad at you. On this day, I vow to choose adventure over tradition to walk with you instead of alone. I love you, Austin, forever and always. Love, your tabby cat. I know from first hand that you're probably gonna make a amazing mother to our children one day. And you've always been there for me. You've always saved me. You've kept me out of a shitload of trouble. And I'm just happy that we're gonna be able to spend the rest of our lives together. I love you, baby. Austin, do you take Tabitha to live together in the union of marriage, to take her as your best friend and partner in life, to honor and cherish and love her from this day forward, for better, for worse, richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, for long as you both shall live? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah! Tabitha, do you take Austin to live together in the union of marriage, to take him as your best friend and partner in life, to honor and cherish and love him from this day forward, for better or worse, richer or poorer, sickness and in health, for as long as you both shall live? I absolutely do. and Tabitha, by the power vested in me in the Universal Life Church in the great state of Georgia, I'm pleased to pronounce you husband and wife. Austin, you may kiss your bride. You have no idea how much you've helped me in the last two years. Everything that I've gone through Everything you've gone through, I always knew I could call on you and you could get my mind off of everything. Even our, our Texas Roadhouse dates, TJ Maxx, $400 later, we tell Austin,
he just shakes his head, grabs a beer, and says, yeah, that's about right. This is where I will be, nah, nah, nah. Never ever gonna leave, nah, nah, nah. make me proud of every day and I love both of them very much. I thought of Tabby as my daughter for years now and now I can actually say yes she really is my daughter-in-law. On behalf of me and my wife it's an honor to have you as me. This is where I want to be One thing I know about marriage is that you find someone that you're willing to put up with all their bullshit to your life. And I think y'all found that.